What our country needs is Jesus to take the wheel, not the government. Did you know? The government may soon be able to shut down your car. A new law requiring car manufacturers to install anti-drunk driving tech. You may not have heard about that because when reporters covered the last infrastructure bill. President Biden's biggest domestic accomplishment. Yeah. yeah. There was little mention of an item buried in the bill that includes a requirement that every new American car now must have a device to passively monitor performance of a driver, see if he may be impaired, and then limit vehicle operation. It almost sounds like the domain of science fiction. Congressman Thomas Massey objected. A kill switch in vehicles that would be the judge, the jury, and the executioner on such a fundamental right. But most of Congress went along. Even the regulators haven't decided how the kill switch might work. Will this have cameras inside the car? Will it monitor your eyes? Relax, says USA Today. There's no kill switch at Biden's bill. They didn't read it, because <laughs> it's there. Automotive engineer and former vintage race car driver Lauren Fix points out the problem with USA Today's so-called fact check. The newspaper admits the law requires new cars to have technology that identifies if a driver is impaired and prevents vehicle operation. Apparently, USA Today just didn't like the term kill switch. But it is a kill switch, and groups like Mothers Against Drunk Driving want that. MAD points to Europe, where disturbed. drunk driving detection is already in use. If behavior doesn't improve, an emergency stop is activated. How many lives are going to have to be lost before we can say, all right, let's put this technology in? It would save lives. It's about control, let's be honest. Because once you give that up, you have no more freedom. How do you appeal your conviction when you're sitting at the side of the road with a car that won't run? Who knows where? Stranded. This computer decides you can't drive your vehicle. That's great. Unless someone's having a heart attack, you're trying to get to the hospital, your mother needs your help. The kill switch is just one of several government plans to control how we drive. Some California lawmakers want every new car to have a speed governor. Physically prevents it from going over 10 miles an hour over that speed limit. Good idea, said federal regulators. Let's take it nationwide. But not being able to speed up can be dangerous too. You have to avoid an accident. There's something coming at you. You have to make an adjustment. You can adjust, says the CNN report. If you press this button, you can accelerate beyond the speed limit for 15 seconds. You can press this button, it'll let you go faster. For 15 seconds? But what if and you're trying can to- you find the button? <laughs> right, while you're under stress for whatever situation. When someone is driving irresponsibly like an idiot, whether it's intoxicated or whatever it may be, yeah, stop that driver. But guess what? We already have that safety measure in place. It's called a cop. So how about hiring more police officers instead of hijacking our cars and invading our privacy? That's something I can get on board with, but not this crap. I'm not about to press some 15 second bypass button. When I'm gonna speed up and go fast, I'm hitting the gas. Also so the new safety device will require our cars to spy on us. I didn't realize that our cars already do. Nissan, for example, says they can collect information about your sexual activity. Some cars now aim video cameras at passengers. Some listen to passengers. Some intercept your text messages. What do they do with that data? 76% sell it and 56% say they will share your personal information without a court order. I just bought a new car. Nobody told me that this thing was in there. Oh, it's there. Because when you go to buy a new car, you get that really long document that's all digital. Who reads that? The small print says, we're collecting your data. We know everything you're doing in your car and we own it. And there's nothing you can do about it. And now the administration wants more spying to collect more money. Biden's infrastructure bill includes a plan for a tax based on how far you drive. Who would be taxed a certain amount for each mile. I think that shows a lot of promise. A mileage charge seems fair. You're, you're paying for your damage to the road. Correct. But when your car tells the government what you do, what you eat, where you go, how long you're there, it makes it easier for politicians to control you. When you start allowing them to do this, they could say, we don't want you going to buy a firearm. We don't want you to go to that destination, so we're not going to let you start your car. The truth is, it's about control. What do you mean it's about control? They're not controlling me. Well, they can. What, where do you get a bill for your carbon footprint? You know, you're at your maximum for carbon credits. We're not going to let you drive your car today. You can take the train. You can take the electric bus. This is paranoia. Maybe. 
But so far, everything that I've said about these things, each step keeps coming through. Look what they did to the truckers in Canada. When Canadian truckers protested COVID mandates, Canada's government cut them off from their money. If your truck is being used in these protests, your corporate accounts will be frozen. You can't get your money out of your account. They can do anything they want when they have your data. So when you think that it sounds so great that they have it for your protection, the truth is it's about control. So far, our government hasn't used its new technology to control us. But politicians have passed laws to start the process. They never reverse these rules. They just keep building on them. She's right about that. They just add more rules. So how do we stop them? For our own safety, my butt. This is the government trying to play God's role by seeing everything that we do. But they're the furthest thing from the almighty and exactly why there's so many conspiracy theorists out here because our government never stops conspiring against we the people. They put on these facades that might sound all cute and safe on the exterior, but the road to hell is paved with good intentions, y'all. This is straight up tyrannical behavior and I guarantee you that this kill switch nonsense would be misused. How long till they shut off cars because they don't like someone's politics or because you post something that they don't agree with on social media. I could definitely see one of these Democrats killing the engine because they saw someone going to a Trump rally. Or what about the next time that they try to lock everyone inside for two years from a virus? It'll be a whole lot easier to control people if they can't drive anywhere. For those of you that haven't caught the drift by now, it's time to wake up and smell the roses because these suited up socialist leftists in DC, they view us legal Americans as guilty guilty until proven innocent. It's completely cattywampus and reversed from how things are supposed to function in this country. It's the same mentality that they have towards firearms. Restrict, 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 take away the ability and the right to defend our loved ones, limit the ammo capacity, take away features, purposely mislabel AR-15s as assault rifles to scare the public. But that's a lie. They are Armalite rifles, just in case you didn't know. And these people, they just keep on going after us law-abiding citizens day after after day while the real criminals are allowed to run free. So really from my perspective, we got four options here. The first is my favorite and that's to vote out these anti-God, anti-American freedom snatchers and hope that we get a fair election this go round unlike, you know, in 2020. It just is what it is. You got to call it like you see it, not call it how the media tells you to see it. Option number two, we revert back to the old horse and buggy days like my Amish friends are still coasting along doing today. They seem to be getting along just fine. They might be on to something. I'm Option number three is a route that I hope it doesn't get to, but if it does, then so be it. Full send and fight to save our republic by any means necessary. And then option number four is probably my least favorite. Actually, it is. It's absolutely a no-go for me, but unfortunately, it's what way too many people continue to do year after year. You can go along with everything that you're told like a coward, and then on the back end, whine about how your life sucks. Well, 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 well how did we get here? We, we got here because of you. What's wrong with you people? When you're sitting by the side of the road in a car that won't move because you used up all your allowed carbon credits for the week, just remember, this all started with a jab, a mask, and a lockdown. You complied. You tucked it between your legs and rolled over. That's not how we get down over here. That's never going to be my motto. That's never how I'm going to operate on my one chance on this side of the grass. Me and my house, we're going to continue to serve the Lord. We're going to continue to pray that lost souls reach repentance and confess Christ as Lord and Savior and continue to defend in the land that we call home. That's what we're going to do. Amen. But I'd love to hear your thoughts on all of this. I'm fired up. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up there before I say something that gets me kicked off the internet. Drop a comment below if you made it to this point of the video and let's keep the conversation rolling. Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you're not already. Ring that notification bell so you get notified anytime I post a new video. If you like what I'm doing over here and you want to show a little extra love and support, make sure you go check out our website down below in the description section. That way you can get all the awesome shirts you see me wearing in every single video. They're all made by my beautiful wife. This one says, created with a purpose. It has it on the chest and on the sleeve. It's based on Ephesians 2 verse 10. I like mine a little baggy, so it seems a little extra room to move and groove, but we got all different sizes ranging from itty bitty extra small to big, big and hefty 5X, a bunch of colors, different designs, all of that. I'm sure you could find something that you like or a great gift for someone that you love. Outside of that, you can always join the Gibson family here on YouTube and become a member. You can buy me a coffee. You can join the Patreon family. All those links are down below as well. By no means do you have to do 
any of that. Just showing up and allowing my freckle face to rant at you for a few minutes. I am greatly appreciative. I love y'all. I cannot thank you enough. Until next time, I'll be praying for you. Godspeed. I'm gone.